Greetings everybody and I really want to be happy to be back and AfriChick is back and live in 2021. We apologize for the long silence. This was due to unavoidable circumstances. We all know how COVID-19 hit us and really hit us hard. Family sicknesses and friend sicknesses and lockdowns and all that. We couldn't operate. We shut. Today I bring you construction of a 20,000 capacity poultry house actually construction of an ultra modern but cheap poultry house my name is Antonio Innocent Mdongi if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel kindly hit the subscribe button hit the like button each time I upload a new video you will always get a notification we always bring you educative content and we always give you bring you success stories today we do construction of a 20,000 capacity modern poultry house that is caged system and if it's depleter system then it's 10,000 capacity our unit measures 8 by 80 meters that is the width is 8 meters and the length is 80 meters the most important thing here we have identified our construction is being done in thicker and our soils that we are working on are red soils and therefore this enables us to really understand how go, how deep to go while doing the foundation. Now very important in our case is we are going to have pillars and therefore while doing the trench the trench should be at least at least 12 inches wide. This is because you're going to use 9 by 9 stones and therefore the mason should have room for operating comfortably and also you should have room for using the plump bob so that you can measure the straightness of the walls. Then very important when you're doing the pillars the pillar depth should not be at the same level with the trench depth. The trench depth is going to be used for lifting the wall that is you're going to build the stones 9 by 9 from the trench upwards but then the pillar should go a little bit deeper in our case we are doing a step or a staircase trench that is in areas that the foundation is gently sloppy then we're going to go a staircase down this is because we want to maintain a foundation of at least three feet down that is a trench of at least three feet down and then the depth of the pillar should go at least five feet from the ground level so if the trench is then three feet from the ground level and then you go from the trench base you go down like he's just doing at least two feet this is because the pillars are actually the whole structure. You would not want to build a poultry house that will come down rumbling on the chicken. So you can imagine how stressful or how um, it's going to bring you, give you a very big loss. Therefore, it's good that you build a structure that is strong and has got a life shell that is quite extended. Six to seven years. That one is good. And therefore, go deep while doing the pillar base which should be, like I mentioned, five feet from the ground. Well, someone would ask, like, why are you doing a staircase for the foundation? That is, why are you doing the strange to be staircase to form? We're trying to do the, the, the foundation in a staircase format so that we can minimize on the cost of the mortar that we're going to use for blinding and also minimize on the amount of the backfilling equipment sorry on the amount of the backfilling material because in the region that you're doing this construction honestly everything is bought nothing is free 
it's very expensive especially for the red soil that you're going to use in backfilling and the maram it's quite expensive and therefore you really have to cut on the cost of construction you right and then it's very important that you ensure that whatever you're doing is quite straight and perfect get the right stones that you're going to use for building the foundation wall these should be stones that cannot easily get soaked or rather i'm trying to say that you should get stones that are not so much porous stones that are porous will easily get soaked when it's so much rainy then they will induce damping if not they will weaken the foundation by weakening the foundation automatically means that the structure will lose shape and even will come down crumbling and therefore it's very important that then you use the right stones for building the foundation that is bringing the foundation wall right from down of course the foundation is the whole the structure the foundation it means everything and therefore that's why it's very important and the other thing you use for the foundation are the hard core in a layman's language the shapeless stones the same applies the stones that will be used in doing the foundation wall should be the same stones or rather the material that will be used for the hard core should be from the same stone these are rocks or stones that are not so much porous they are not likely to get soaked why we are doing that is if you have a flow that has been used or has been made using hard core that is so porous this is likely to bring in damping off choice of the pillars one uses is very important in our case we're using eucalyptus pillars that are heat treated the base of the pillar should be at least 5 inches and the top or the apex of the pillar should be at least 4 inches avoid pillars with cracks and avoid pillars that are not very straight and also the height matters in our case the pillar should be at least 4.5 meters okay that is very important and ensure that they are uniform the other ingredient that you'll use is the sand ensure that when you're doing the foundation you use sand that is pure when i say pure i mean the sand should be free of loam soils it should be free of cotton soils like the main ingredient here should be the sand and the sand texture should be rough textured the grain should be coarse you know we have got fine medium and coarse or rough sand so it is very important when doing the foundation this is because we are not doing um, plastering where by you need a fine or medium textured sand we need a coarse textured sand so that you can have a strong mortar for blinding so that is very important and the ballast also should be medium grained don't have we need we need not to have very fine grained or we need not to have very coarse grain because when you use very coarse grain we increase the air spaces in between because i'm imagining when you're doing the construction you don't go into the high extreme costs of using like the vibrators and all that so that is why it's very important the type and quality of sand the type and quality of the ballast you're using is key so then very important ensure that everything you're doing or rather every step you're taking is a replica of the other side like this is a rectangle ensure that the left wing should be a replica of the right wing okay the east wing should be a replica of the left wing then very important is the sun to ballast to cement ratio very important in our case we are using a ratio of 1 to 2 to 3 one bag of cement to two bags of ballast to three bags of sand no shortcuts no shortcuts just to ensure that we have a strong foundation okay like i mentioned the ballast has to be medium textured so i expect that as we keep on moving and going to the next uh, steps you will keep seeing the work being done and 
being perfectly put in action. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I can't wait to show you the next video.